All right, guys. So before we go ahead and start out this episode, real quick, the things that I want to get out uh, for this video before the actual podcast starts out is uh, clarify a couple of things. One being in the last podcast in this same segment, I mentioned that podcast three should have gone up two weeks or should I say two Sundays ago. But I did my math today and, and actually episode three should have gone of the podcast should have gone like three Sundays ago. And then this very podcast that you guys are seeing on a Wednesday should have gone two say, Sundays ago. And the fifth episode of the podcast should have gone this past Friday. I mean this past Sunday. So that episode should be going up on Saturday. This Saturday. So uh, the reason if you're hearing this is because I made it on time. This episode managed to get to Wednesday. So yes, it's a success, guys. So uh, one thing that I really wanted to mention about this episode, uh, which is probably the only thing really, is I did say that, uh, let's see, where was it at? Um, hmm, I literally just jotted, jotted some notes here. Crap. Actually, I think it was just about this episode, just to clarify how these episodes were supposed to go out, because uh, at some point in the video, I mentioned something about like, oh, if you see this episode go up first before the podcast three, it's because, oh, it's like, I, I really didn't have time to edit episode three, so I thought I could get episode four out. It, that wasn't the case. You know, y'all you already see this. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm being very late with these podcasts, but just know uh, the podcast number six should be going, fingers crossed on time on sunday this very sunday so that's the only thing i really wanted to clarify and the there's just one little small thing and that's just the echo you might hear from goki's audio he had problems with audacity and his his audio was clean compared to the one that i recorded on my side so i thought i'd be better off using his even though with the echo so i really do want to apologize about that but that's all that i really wanted to say i hope you guys have a wonderful wednesday or thursday whenever you're deciding to watch this so take care of y'all stay safe and we'll see you on sunday i mean Saturday for podcast number five. All right. This has been Gizmo and enjoy the podcast. Peace. myself up um do you want to say something real fast yo 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 how's it going oh my oh, god hi. that actually sucked the last <laughs> bit of energy in my body <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> no, no, I guess guess what guess what guess what guess what i need i need you i need you i need you to like you really listen to this okay oh god <sighs> <laughs> what, hold up hold up hold up was that you was that that was me that was me <laughs> oh god dude oh, <laughs> oh. just go simple <laughs> oh my god dude what the heck i i honestly i swear Yo, I to you dude next... i swear to you my man i thought that I was an actual woman anime waifu. <laughs> she thought that was an actual i could be your next anime waifu baby <laughs> you question my sexuality oh god <laughs> I'm like, wait, did he just show me a video? <laughs> he was like, did No, that was me. You'll see it in, you'll see it in the recording where I just I just literally pulled my mic and I go. <laughs> okay, if no one agrees with me that that sounds so feminine, I don't know what is, bro. <laughs> oh. No, dude, it's so bad. I love I love freaking out my friends with it. It's so much fun. <laughs> I'm surprised I hadn't showed you yet. I like the fact that <laughs> You oh yeah, no, I can do you like practice it or what? <laughs> I can, I yeah, I kind of do actually, because I do it so much to my friends. My torture, I I do it so much to my friends because I love torturing them. They're like, stop, shut up. I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh my god, it's so. Gizmo. Oh my god, you do practice it. What the frick oh, is Gizmo. that, bro? What? <laughs> Oh, Gizmo. oh my god i swear i swear if we met the first time like that oh my god i would honestly think you're a girl i would honestly think you're a girl no dude i should dress up as one of those traps you know i swear <laughs> Goki. Traps, I, you know I, I, mean? freaking, I swear Goki. <laughs> so weird.
<laughs> you turn away. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Please tell me you're recording this. I am on my end, yeah. <laughs> yes! I don't know how I got it. Because this needs to be in the video. This needs to be in the video. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. YouTube's going to age restrict this series, man. I'm telling you. YouTube's just going to be like, nope! Restricted. restricted. No, I put the freaking one inside, damn it. I put the one inside. No. God damn you. Oh my. No horny on the main. Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Wait, did you say a horny on the main? Is it I was like, what? No, I said no horny on the oh, main. Okay, you see, I'm misinterpreting that. Like the meme. Like the meme, you go to horny jail bunk. <laughs> that, that meme. Oh my god. Respects, Goki. Respects. <laughs> I have respects for you. Uh, respect. Ah. Uh, thank you. I thank you, man. I respect you too. Oh man. <laughs> Just get over here. Just get uh, over here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> he's like, okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to episode four of the podcast. I don't know what type of intro is this, but you know what? Let's get this going. Oh Actually, are you recording? Let's get it Actually, going. Are you recording this? Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. I'm recording. Yep, I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording that entire thing, dude. You better add that in. I'll be very disappointed if you don't add that in. I'm just going to keep it rolling. <laughs> so that's welcome to the podcast. This is how uh, these podcasts always have a weird story. I don't know. Goki's always... <laughs> Exactly. One of us is one of us just feels weird, and then we start recording, and then we just keep going with the weirdness, and then we just don't shut up for like six minutes, and then we're, then we're yeah. This is my go. favorite boo right here. Yeah, this is my favorite boo over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, you're my favorite. After boo. after you're my after favorite that boo. happened, yeah, Thank yeah, you. that's it. Yeah. You know what? Happy <laughs> Valentine's, dude. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> happy Valentine's you know? Day. Yo, happy let's get Valentine's. Let's like, go. I'm, I'm single on Valentine's Day. I'm single on Valentine's Day, man. You know what? Right. You know what? For Valentine's, I'm gonna give you, you some wanna, Pokemon you cards. You wanna get together for one I'm day? Give you some Pokemon cards here. Yes, here. Let's go. Have all my Pokemon <laughs> let's cards. Let's go. Yes. There. Yes. Thank you for the Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> my dream come true. Uh, I'm being paid to Pokemon he cards. Loves he loves Pokemon cards. <laughs> Anyways, how are you doing? Oh my god. How <laughs> you been doing, bro? How's it been? How's it been? How's your week been? I've been doing pretty good. This week's been this week's been a bit this week. Um, this week's been a busy one. This week's been a rough one, but um, I'm here. I'm live. I'm alive and doing the daily darn thing. And I have a three day weekend, so I'm excited about that. Um, how are you doing? Uh, you know, same the same old, same old. Sleeping on the job, doing mm -hmm. homework, <laughs> but most importantly, reading <laughs> manga. Like that. <laughs> That's all I've been doing. There you go. Yeah, you gotta have your priorities straight. You gotta have your priorities yeah, straight. Yeah, yeah, I don't have my priorities straight. Yeah, that's <laughs> oh so bad. God. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, yeah. but before. <laughs> it will be like that. Sometimes. But Goki. But Goki. Goki. You know what's yeah, one important yeah. thing yeah, that I did that? do today? I mean, at least this week? What's that? What'd you do? I got my Pokemon cards from McDonald's. That's all that matters. Hey, that's all that matters. That's all that matters, baby. If I had a face cam, I would show I them. To, but I, I don't. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I need to go get my McDonald's um, cards, actually. By, which, by the way, speaking of, um, I'm pointing to them right now. Um, those figurines back there on the white shelf back there, those were actually from McDonald's, too. Half of them were my brothers, which is why I have so many of them. And we used to go to, like, McDonald's all the time. But, um, yeah, those figurines back there. I also have a Resuramp one somewhere, too, but I've lost it somewhere. And the wings are, like, detached because I used to, like... Because they were like they were like detachable, so I used to detach and retach them all the time, and then they broke. And yeah, so, so. something I would do. I have a wingless. So something I would somewhere. do in my youth. I have a wingless Ram Sounds somewhere. Sounds like something in this I would house. do in my youth. Dang. <laughs> actually, actually, talking about plushies. Yeah, no, it was like they were. They were like I was not like Sid from Toy Story. It was just like they were detachable. So I would like detach them and retach them for fun for whatever reason. I would like mix up the wings and stuff like that. And then they broke, and now they like it won't stay on. So it's like, well. Oh, that's me know. with my Lunala. <laughs> I have a permanently injured. That's me with Lunala. Oh, yeah, really? I broke the wings, and yeah, I don't Lunala know where the other wing is at. <laughs> I just don't know where it's at. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should I should try to like go to McDonald's at some point and purchase at least a couple of Happy Meals. I can like give the food to don't, the fam. Don't be something. don't be too greedy. Know. You know. Actually, I actually, actually, greedy. if you get the Happy Meals, just yeah, just <laughs> send over the food. We wanted to talk just about. send over the chicken nuggets. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, Pat, I'll take the chicken nuggets, bro. I'll take the chicken nuggets. No, Joe, chicken nuggets are bangers. Whoever says McDonald's chicken nuggets aren't good, you're wrong. Oh, only you know what? You know what? Chicken nuggets with ranch. Chicken nuggets with ranch. Oh my god, it is so unhealthy. You don't know what they're put into those things, but my god, are yep. they good? 
That's they're only good when they're fresh. I, I'll just say that. Yes, when they're fresh. I'm, if they're not true. That is, that is if they're not true. fresh, it's like eh. It's like eh. It's eh. That is, that is like, very eh. true. Mm. That is that is that is quite true right there. But, um actually fun fact for you, um something I would used to do when I was like younger was um I would like I always got like a very like a s I always whenever I go to McDonald's I always get the same thing, mm-hmm. basically. Um I like back then I think I, I can't even remember what I got back then, but now I get like a large vanilla shake, I get a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit, and I get or I guess I, I don't know what you Brits call it. You Brits are weird. Uh, you Brits. Um, you, know, you guys don't call it biscuits. American, bris, br- American biscuits. American biscuits. Um, and then I always get that, and I always get, like, a small fries or, like, a medium fries and split it with my dad because usually I go with my dad because we're on a road trip. Mm-hmm. Um, what I used to do as a kid was I, was I would still get, like, the large McDonald's shake as a kid. Um, I would bring it home, put it in the freezer, and I would have it as, like, ice cream later on. I don't know why I did that, but it was, like, actually really freaking good. Really? <laughs> I, I don't know I don't know why I did that yeah I actually to this day I can't remember why I did that. oh I think I remember it's because like one day like we stopped by McDonald's um we left like the milkshake in the car or something like that it melted so by the time like I got was able to like actually drink it and so my parents were like oh let's just freeze it and I was like okay we'll see if that works and then it froze and then I brought it out and it was actually really oh, good oh the milkshake right yeah the milkshake so like basically we refroze the milkshake so it was like so it was like, oh ooh, I, actually I didn't even know milkshakes existed. I don't even know if they exist over here where I live. What, dude, dude? You, okay, whenever you are, whenever you are able to get a milkshake, because my God, they are so good. It's basically like liquid ice cream. That's the best way I can think of to describe it. My God, it is so good. It's not, it's not like melted ice cream. It's, it's like, it's like a, it's like thicker than that. But it's like, it's like, it's like ice cream. The texture is like I buy ice cream if it was like liquefied, huh. not interesting milk, though. Never it's had it really before. Good. It's just take my word for it. It's so milkshakes are milkshakes are the best thing to ever exist on this planet. I am convinced. I'm curious, Koki. Uh, I don't know where yeah. you live, but like, does it have um? Is there such thing as a jack in the box over there, or maybe it's just a thing over here? Um, I think there is in North. I, th- I think there is. There's not any near my area. So I don't know, but I think there are some Jack in the Boxes in here. I've heard of I've heard of Jack in the Box, but I I think I think there's some in the area. I don't I just not in the area I live. I think there's some in my state. Oh, though. okay. Because I think I'm confusing certain uh, fast food restaurants that are like exclusive only to California. Yeah, I think you're thinking of In and Out. Oh yeah, right? that I think that's the one I'm talking I about. Think, yeah. Yeah, that I think is the one we don't have. I think that one's the one we don't have. Right oh here. man, you are missing out. I mean, so. not really. It's. Not really, yeah. but yeah, you know what? It, it's just a <laughs> burger joint. That, that's all it really is. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's a fast food burger yeah, joint. It's difficult, so. but yeah. it is better than like uh, I'll, I'll. You could say that it's way better than McDonald's. It, depending on yeah, yeah, McDonald's depending on what type of person. McDonald's is kind of like one of those things where it's just like yeah. When it comes to the special sauce, <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that's not surprise, surprising. Mm-hmm. Actually, before yeah. we even start uh, the podcast, there's one thing I do want to talk about since you mentioned about the milkshake. So back in when I was yeah. young, I was very fat. I was very freaking fat. Uh, so one thing uh, I would <laughs> usually do is like McDonald's wouldn't satisfy me. So with just one with yeah. a typical ordinary <laughs> no. meal, like maybe let's say you just got a Big Mac, right? And just small fries, whatever. Yeah. The smallest meal you can come up with. That would not satisfy my hunger. Mm. I would have to eat like probably two to three Big Macs to feel satisfied. <laughs> and believe me, jeez, I did that for a whole year. I would always be like that for a whole year like until that. like along yeah. the way, I was like, wait, hold up. I'm pretty fat. <laughs> I can't <laughs> fit into these clothes yeah. anymore. <laughs> the realization like, oh, wait a minute. I was minute. like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to cut it down. Uh, I'm going to cut yeah. it down, especially with high school and everything. You don't yeah. you don't want to be known as a yeah. fat kid anymore, so you just get a little bit more. Con- yeah. I, I guess the word is conceited, right? You get a little bit more aware of your body, and you're like, conceited is not really the right word because conceited is like has like a negative impact. Just to get yeah, just just to kind of more aware of like how like your body and like how you want to treat it and stuff. I guess that's mm-hmm. a better way to put it. But ever since so, that, not, not it's not really conceited, but yeah, I but ever since yeah. like you're more aware of like how your body looks and like how your body reacts. Pretty much, and ever stuff. since then, I have never touched a Big Mac ever again until recently, just because I felt like it. Really? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've. I'm trying to think because like most of the time. 
Let's see here. I can't remember what I got as a kid, but for the longest time, I would not eat a cheeseburger. Like, I remember, like, as a kid, I was a really picky eater. I was so daggum picky, I'm surprised I was able to live. But, um, yeah, nowadays, like, I think, like, the biggest burger I've had is, like, the double quarter pounder, I mm -hmm. think. Which is probably bigger than a Big Mac, but still. But, um... Yeah, I think that's, like, the biggest burger I've ever had. But, yeah, usually I get, like, a burger, I get fries and a large vanilla shake. So, because McDonald's, McDonald's is a treat at this, like, at this point for me since I'm, like, a dancer and stuff like that. So. Mm, to uh, be fair, but, yeah. But I would definitely, I would 100, if I wasn't dancing, I would tell you right now, I would 100% most likely be fat. Because <laughs> I eat a lot. Wow. So, I'm, like, I'm able, I, like, I burn it through dance, but, like, if I wasn't dancing or exercising, I would probably be fat at this Jeez. point. Jeez. Uh I think I kind of was fat before, like, even just, like, five years ago. I was fat for a dancer, but, yeah. Mm. Uh, so I was going to ask you. And then I got really self-conscious about you it. Do you eat home-cooked yeah. meals, or do you actually, like, go out and eat, like, some type of fast food? Um, usually I, um, I buy stuff from, like, the grocery store. Like, I eat stuff from the grocery store, basically. So, like, um, yeah, I never, I very rarely eat out. Oh, jeez. Um, like, oftentimes, like, for snack for snacking around, I'll have chips and stuff like that. Or if, like, there's candy, I'll munch on that a little bit. Um, then I'll eat, like, fruits. Um, I'll eat um, dairy. I'll um, have cheese. I'll have, um... I actually, um... The... Um, I actually have, like, a couple pounds of meat in, like, ground beef in the frid in the mm -hmm. freezer. And so, like, what I'll do is, like, I'll make, like, a week's worth of hamburger meat like patties hamburger patties and then i'll like cook that whenever i feel like it and i'll like i'll have that and then like i also like peanut butter toast and stuff like that so it's not the healthiest dancer meal you'll ever hear of but it's it's the meal that works for me and it's worked for years so <laughs> hasn't hasn't harmed me yet so you know what? <laughs> oh and coffee can't you know what coffee. if if it makes you feel any better over here it's gotten to the point because i guess it's because of covid and everything it's gotten to the point where eating yeah. out like eating like fast food is just any ordinary day yeah <laughs> that's that's how bad it's been yeah, yeah. so uh <laughs> yeah. yeah like uh, to, to this day right now it's like we're always like what are we gonna eat what are we gonna eat and then if we mention a store like yeah. anything let's say for example mcdonald's we're like uh mcdonald's again and then we throw in another one subway yeah. i was like oh subway again and then some other fast food restaurants and yeah. we're just like you know what frick it we're just gonna make something at home <laughs> i'm tired of fast food it's, yeah. it's gotten to that point. Yeah. It's gotten to that point. It's just, I find it hilarious. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, yeah. man, it makes me wish after seeing all, I, I've watched a lot of anime Goki and I, I keep telling you, talking to anime yeah. to you. And I see all these people yeah. making like yeah. all these chefs making food. And I see it both in anime and now in manga. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, I, I, I really feel like I should really yeah. make some home cooked meals. The thing is, I really don't know where to start. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't want to burn something and it just yeah. comes out all bad. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, like, starting out, you'll probably end up, like, burning stuff. I've, I've, oh, I've no, like, I, I'd say, like, personally, I recommend starting out with things, like, that are simple, like, scrambled eggs or something like that. Like, I, I, I that's another thing I forgot to mention. I make scrambled eggs. Um, you can do some butter like or oil. And then, like, butter oil. the better you oil. get with it. Um, butter or oil or both yeah it would go actually i actually just use a uh, vegetable oil just like spray the pan and that's ah uh, okay so, i use butter i um, use butter to get that yeah i mean no i don't know if you there butter is good butter is freaking good have you been <laughs> it's basically fat do you, do you guys have a denny's so, at, uh over there in north carolina actually um there's a place that i'm lit there's an out it's like an hour yeah. away right um and it's um that's where the like it's where Denny's. Oh, for is. real? So, um, it's in I think it's in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Yeah, I believe. Um, that's where the Denny's headquarters is. Oh, so, boy. yeah. I actually performed there one time. I performed like in the building, like at like the top floor. So I can say I've been to the top floor of the Denny's headquarters. So, hey, that's a bob, bro. <laughs> Fun fact, that guys. is a show. That is I know, a right? British... I can't. Remember, I can't remember what it was for. We it was some Nutcracker thing. Um, and like the company, uh, like, um, cause at the time I was a trainee with the company at Ballet Spartanburg. Um, and so what we did was we went up there, we performed, I guess for the work. I can't remember why we performed up there actually, but yeah, we performed up there. It was that a lot was, of fun, th so. that's very, that's very cool to I was, hear. I was a soldier dog. That is very cool, cool to hear. Oh yeah. my God. 
Yeah. Actually, I know this is very late to mention yeah. it into the, the podcast already, since we're already, I think, like 13 minutes in. But if you're confused about yeah. the title, it's going to be episode four of the podcast. Don't be confused. I was just a little super late for the yeah. third podcast because it's an hour long that I have to edit. And I just had to put it in this video and mention it. Oops. And the third episode of the podcast yeah. will be going up on Wednesday. As that's the day that none of us are uploading any type of like souling versus content, so that's the perfect time slot for me. So yeah. I thought I'd just throw it in there. Ah, I got you. Got but you, yeah, you. yeah. And then like so, what episode three we'll be talking about the weeks, um, the episodes nine through twelve. Yep, nine right? through twelve. Nine, 10, 11, yeah, 12. nine through twelve. Yeah. So if you guys are wondering where that podcast is, it'll be coming up. G Gizmo edits all these episodes. Um, I have no part in this, so he's doing this all himself. So I very much salute him for editing these videos. So, um, which is why they go mm -hmm. up on his channel. But um, yeah, I salute you for making these videos, dude. Like it's it's a lot yeah, of fun to I do it for the joy. This, so. And I apologize, I don't. Okay, get, I do it I for the joy. <laughs> I apologize, I don't get the episodes to you any sooner because it's it's hard for me to gotcha. do it sometimes. But, I do it for the joys yeah. of the beginnings of these episodes, like in this one. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one, that, yeah, no, that is the amazing. joy of podcast. <laughs> this one's, this one's by that far is, the best one. This one's I by am, far the best one, and I am so, so yeah, for it. I, I cannot wait actually. To see on, that. on top of that, uh, episode three has a lot of interesting topics that we talk about. <laughs> I really, oh yeah, that's also true. I forgot. <laughs> aside about that. from like mentioning, <laughs> there's gonna be a big disclaimer in episode three. <laughs> There's gonna be there's gonna be a big you one. See a lot of Goki's insights. <laughs> aside from the Super Bowl, aside uh, from like talking about the Super Bowl, as that's the time we were recording it the day before. Oh yeah, the Super, Bowl. the Super Bowl. So we were. Yeah, which we can talk about the aftermath of the Super oh, Bowl. Oh, that's true. Yeah, actually, we could speak. We could <laughs> we speak through the overview of the episodes and just talk a little bit about uh, those things. Yeah, do you want to do yeah. the episodes first? So, time? let's go ahead and start okay. with the episodes. Sounds good to me. Let's, let's go, go and get them done. Okay, so my episode, the first episode of the week was episode 13. Um, we both, um, I think Gizmo had just gotten out of the SSN, and I had just gotten in, like, I was in the SSN still. Um, this one was a very intense episode for both of us, because um, this is when Gizmo has, fi has fully caught up to me. And at one point, we're both in the gym trying to figure out the puzzle in, mm -hmm. in this episode. And so what happens was, it was an intense race. We try to get to the end of the gym first. Who's going to get there first? Who's going to do it? Pretty much. And then um, what happened was Gizmo, yeah, Gizmo beat it like a minute before me. So, and then after we beat the gym, we go ahead and continue on with the episode. Uh, my Fampy evolved into Don Fan, so that's one of the first big evolutions on the team, mm -hmm. I think. Because um, Fampy was really helping out the team. Because I forgot I also taught it Mock Punch. So it had, pri it had priority in Mock Punch. It had a super hard hitting moving superpower, and it also had dig. So it uh, helped me get out of like um, caves and stuff like that. So Don Fan is like an asset to the team. So um, th I think Don Fan, um, not going to spoil anything, obviously, but Don Fan does put in a lot of work. Oh, definitely, the most definitely. So, be looking forward to that. So, and so that's that's pretty much like the main thing that happened. Episode thirteen is probably the most intense episode mm -hmm. yet. Just because of the fact that we're like neck and neck with each other at this point, like um, I I was able to get the early lead, and then Gizmo was able to catch up to me easily, and then like that whole gym, just like that whole gym section, just changed mm, everything. Gotcha. So. Oh, one thing I do want to add on to episode thirteen is I find it funny the fact that I'm trying to I get to the gym first, right? I get to Lieutenant Surge, I'm trying to solve yeah. the puzzle, and I'm having very difficulty, like hardcore difficulty like five star difficulty and we you just see goki just yeah. beating the right well, actually just finishing the ssn stuff and he heads off to the gym and all of a sudden this guy gets the puzzle right on the first try but what's funny is that we both we both oh, yeah, get it like we both open the the doors to lieutenant surge yeah, at, the at the exact same exact time like almost yeah it, not frame by frame yeah. but almost oh yeah i remember that i forgot about that I forgot about that. Yeah, that was wild. And then, then you were able to get to the gym leader first because I had to take on the trainer beforehand, which you had already fought because you yep. were struggling with the puzzle. I forgot that was, about that. That was I very funny. About that. I found that hilarious. Dude, that was insane. How did I forget about that? I edited the freaking episode. I forgot about that. Wow. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that was, ins that was yeah, insane. Yeah, I'm telling moment. you. I remember that because I was like, oh my god. But <laughs> Moving on to oh, episode 14. Wow. Honestly, episode 14 is just literally, yes. we're just trying to head off to Celadon City. That's all we're trying to do. But on our 
We're on the road to sell a But on today. our way over I there, I, I don't know why. I keep... If you've been watching this podcast, you already know how stupid I am. So... I did. I st- I'm still not aware of Ladia's <laughs> potential. I am aware of how defensive it is. I just don't. I'm not aware of yeah. the fact that it could be offensive as well. To the point right now, episode 14, I still don't have a clue. I don't have no confidence in my minds because for the fact that I only have a Ladia's and a coughing leading me on this early on so i decided to take on every single trainer but then you see my pal over here <coughs> goki he's just like deuces he's like i need to get the lead it's like i gotta get the lead so my boy just go straight into the cave i, I forgot what it's called diglas cave no it's not diglas cave it's yeah uh, rock tunnel, rock tunnel. so rock tunnel. My boy was trying to be cheeky last episode. I saw my boy. He was trying to be a little cheeky with that flash TM. Or I think HM, my bad. I was trying my best, man. I was trying my best. Man, you know? Oh, yeah, I remember that, too. God, that sucked. That would have been so huge if I was able to pick up flash because I wouldn't have told you You never told. Oh, actually, Um, yeah, you did tell me later on. Yeah, you told me later on. I was like, oh, you're trying to get flash. But what I was referring to as I was going to get a specific item was the bicycle. That's what I was referring Mm -hmm. to. I was like, I'm going to go get the bicycle real quick. Because I think you had to finish. I think I was I was hinting to that as well. I'm pretty sure. Um, And I was hoping I remember. Oh, yeah. I remember I wasn't going to say anything about picking up the bicycle. Um, And then I was just going to pick it up. And I was just going to hope that you forgot about it. Um, and then I realized later on, like, I think we talked about it later on, and I was like, you have the bike, don't you? And you were like, yeah, I was like... Pretty much. <laughs> and, well, with uh, Goki's initiative of taking the lead, well, that's how episode 14 ended. He took the lead. A huge one at yep. that, too. Yeah, I get, trying to get Flash... Yeah, trying to get Flash really hurt, but, um... Regardless, um, Goki gave yeah, no f's. Goki gave no progress. f's about that. <laughs> he just still went. Dude, I played through. I played through Fire Red and Leaf Green so much as a kid. I basically remember how to get through the entire game, like just by memory, like muscle memory alone. It's crazy. Besides Rock Tunnel, Rock Tunnel, which going on into episode fifteen, um, we got lost a little bit in Rock Tunnel. Gizmo got a little more lost than I did, mm-hmm. I think. Because um, I was able to get out about ten minutes in, I was able to finally get out of Rock Tunnel. Gizmo didn't get out until episode, like around twenty two mm. minutes in, um, and during that time that he was in there, I was able to um, get to Celadon, uh, do some all sorts of stuff around there. I yep, think I went, went shopping, shopping in the Celadon Mall, um, and then I took on the fourth gym, and I was able to beat the fourth gym by the mm. end of the episode. So now I'm the uh, gym ahead again, and I also had two evolutions, being Celio and Electrode. Which are also very huge evolutions. So now my team is really starting to look like, like a big threat yep. compared to yours. Now it's now it's less of a case of like you having an overpowered Mon um, and me just having like a, a well balanced team. Now I actually have a very threatening team with like a fast electrode, bulky Celio, which once it evolves yeah, into Wall Rain, game. if it evolves into Wall Rain, will be even better. Um, and then yeah, pretty much. So then then it'll just come down to you know how fast can you beat every trainer. And then how fast can I be through every trainer as well? Goki, so. okay. Oh, and I also get the Static Eevee encounter too, which was, I believe, Licky Tongue. I think I got Licky Tongue. Can cool. we just so. state the facts here that my boy over here, you, you're, well, what I mean by that, you, uh, you are so getting ahead. Like, you give no Fs about trainers. <laughs> but you still you yeah. still see me doing the same thing. I you still see man. me doing the same thing. Taking every single trainer. Which yeah. pisses me off when I look at the episode yeah. now, looking back. I'm so mad at myself. I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, I didn't tell you either. I didn't tell you what I was doing. I was just like, I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go, man. I think I, I, I don't know if I ever brought it up in the episode. I can't in like any of the mm-hmm. episodes. I can't remember. I think I brought it up like later on when you were like when um you know I think I brought it up later on, but um yeah I was just skipping through trainers. Like at that point I was just like if if I am like of if I'm like on par level wise I'll be fine. So. I just skip through as many trainers as I can afford. If I have to take on trainers, I do. But if um, I can skip trainers, I try to skip Oh, yeah. I was going to mention something so, to you, Goki, about Rock like Tunnel. So I don't know yeah. if one of us did this, or maybe this is part of my other series that I did, the one I was actually going through Fire Red. Did did you know that there was an ice uh, cave under Rock Tunnel, or a nice area under Rock Tunnel? Yeah, no, there's I like an not. ice cave. That I think I was in this series too. I don't remember, but I accidentally went down the round route. Wow! Uh, and I ended up in the ice area, and I was like, "What the heck is this?" <laughs> and it was actually. Hold up! I never knew. Yeah, about there's that. like an ice cavern. There it goes. I never, I never knew there was an ice cave. Yeah, look tunnel. it up. Hold it's 
Rock tunnel. For a second, I, I confused Ray. myself that I was being at the Seafoam Islands, but then I go back up and it's like rock tunnel. I'm like, what the heck is this? It's like, this is a special area or what? Or whatnot. And yeah. Dude, that's wild. So, that, I thought I'd throw it out there. I was, I was a shout for episode 14 as we were in Rock Tunnel. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. oh, actually, that's not episode 14. That's Hold up, episode. let me see if I can... Lamel. Yeah. I don't see it. Wait, okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, if you look it up... Uh, ice Cave Under, under yep, Rock up Tunnel. Under Rock Tunnel. Yeah, it should be, like, the first thing that pops up. Yeah. Okay, so what what you're looking at is um, Four Island, Icefall Cave and Four Island. That that was the thing yeah. you were looking at. So I was. So uh, okay, so I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking of, but maybe maybe there's some sort of way where Rock Tunnel connects to Four Island from the City Isles or something. I don't if know. I, if I find but yeah, it, um, I found I found the I found the map. So Icefall Cave is on Four Island. So it's not it's not underneath Rock Tunnel, but unless there's some way. Gotcha. You know that. what? Actually, if I if, if I find is, it in my pet amazing, series, I would but... literally just put a little clip right here, like as we're talking, as what I'm referring to, because I yeah. literally I do remember. Yeah. I don't know if it's in this series or some other series. I was in Rock Tunnel and I went down some. A ladder and i ended up in i i don't necessarily call it it was probably a nice cave but maybe the texture was different and it looked like a, a nice cave version of it so i was just like what the heck is all this because there was lighting i was like there's no lighting in rock tunnel unless you have flash right so i was just kind of i found that really yeah. bizarre so so that i thought I, I thought i'd throw wow. it out there this <laughs> as it, it was actually really a cool find so yeah that so, is a cool find I'm not gonna lie, that is so really yeah. Cool find. And moving on to uh, episode sixteen, and yeah. this is where honestly, the, my my boy Goku over here is just speeding through everything. I honestly, throughout this, I I didn't talk to like Goku in my mind, like what I was thinking about him, like getting that far behind. I mean, getting that far ahead, and me in my head, I was just like, man. Yeah. This guy is making some moves, and I'm just like here taking on every single trainer, <laughs> and I don't figure that out until the point where, yeah. okay, I'm just taking my time. I'm gonna go to the gym later. I'm gonna pretty much catch up eventually. But little did I hear my boy over here saying, yeah. "I'm already taking on Giovanni, the boss." I'm just like, that's <laughs> when it hit me. That's when it. I mean, that's how the episode what? ended, and I'm just like, it hit me. It hit me yeah. hard. I'm just like, this man. Dang it! Should have kept my This man is ahead. This man is ahead. I can't say anything anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's any faith for me. And then that's where it hit me. That was just like, yeah. you know what? Because that was the ending of a recording session. And that night, I thought to myself. Yeah, that was. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay. How, I need to think of a strategy of how okay, am I going to go ahead and defeat this guy. Because he's already ahead. One gym. And now he's talking on the boss, which I have to eventually either ways. And I'm just like, how do yeah. I have to do that? And then in my head, I, it was at this point, given episode 17, it's really not spoilers, as this was just before the episode. I said to myself, at this point, I have to just skip every trainer, as many as I can, and just catch up to Goki. <laughs> so that was... Yeah, and then that, then you start applying the same strategy that I've been doing, so... It'll be interesting to exactly. see what off really. <laughs> going, going on to episode 70, I really don't know what happens then or not. But I do know, do remember that night I was thinking of, yeah. that's going to be my strategy from here on out. That's wild. <laughs> it hit me. It hit me. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then, like, after that, I think, was, like, we had that recording session. So the start of the third recording session is mm -hmm. going on now. There were there were four, for those mm -hmm. of you interested. I'm not going to say how long they were, they were really but there long. were four. So we just got to the third one, which is really cool. Um, and then, uh, something I was going to bring up as well is, um, um, people, um, let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, I played through, like, Fire and Leaf Green, like, a crap ton when I was a kid. Like, I love those games. Those games are a lot mm -hmm. of fun to play through. Um, the only area that I don't really know how to get through off the back of my hand is Rock Tunnel. Every other area, I, I have a very, I have a general idea of how to get through. That may or may not come into play. Who knows? Um, it did go into play in the Rocket Hideout. I remember that because I was like, I know exactly where I'm going. I know exactly where I need to go for the most part. Um, I think I might have gotten confused a little bit mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, but for the most part, I knew where I was mm -hmm. going to go. So that that just kind of like having that knowledge in the back of my head. It takes them into the advantage. In ter like, it in terms it of really that, does so. pay off for this man. Yeah. Especially later on. Uh, hopefully, maybe it's in this week. It really does pay yeah, off. No spoilers. It really pays yeah. a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's just say some crazy. But one stuff thing, I, one last thing I do want to add on to the episode is my boy over here. I don't know how, I don't know why it's it's like this. I mean, my boy has an electrode and has. If you look at the thumbnail, yes, there's there's a reason why there's two TMs there. My boy, Electro knows <laughs> both Frenzy Plant oh, is this why and it's Fire Blast. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I know, I'm like, right? Oh, okay, it's okay, okay. I have Spark, Frenzy Plant, Fire Blast, and Sonic Boom, yeah. I think, by this point. I'm it's like, can, can we just agree on the fact that this man has a broken team? He has a McCargo. He has a Celio. He has an Electrode. Yeah. And he has Dawn Fan. You look at my squad. And once I get, if I get Royal Rain, dude, if I get Royal yeah, Rain. Yeah, pretty much. He's, he's. Which, you know, he, like, he, if, if something really bad would have to happen if I don't get Royal Rain at this point, let's be honest, because that's our yeah. starter pair and that's your Latias pair. So if you lose Latias, we lose the Nuzlocke. Yeah. We lose the Soling Versus yeah. at this point. You, you, um, so basically, you know, whenever I get yeah. a Royal Rain. <laughs> Uh, like that's just gonna be like I have a bulky boy, I have a speedy boy, I have hard hitting boy, and I have another hard hit, like a physical. Pretty, hard pretty much, boy. and it's you look great. at my side on my team. If you remember the first podcast that I mentioned, there is gonna be an interesting story <laughs> to my feebas. I I told you guys there was gonna be an interesting story oh, yeah, to my feebas. So my squad consists of a Latias and a Weezy at this point. I, I I forgot I didn't mention that, but in episode sixteen, yeah. my coffee evolved. Oh yeah, you're. <laughs> Uh, your copy so, of the and, yeah. I knew it was like sometime around this era. I knew it was sometime around here. Yeah. Where your Weezing evolved. And like, then I have an almost. I mean, almost star. I have a what was it? Almanite. I have an Almanite. Right. At this Almanite. point. At this yeah, point. My Feebas to this day. I I believe it is still level two, <laughs> from episode two. two. <laughs> yeah. It's still level two from episode two. It's still <laughs> episode two. I told you. Man. I told you. This Feebas is gonna have an interesting backstory. It's just gonna stay at level two. I don't know for how yeah. long though. I don't know for how long more, two. but it's still level. Two. <laughs> if it stay, if like it never. If it ever yet. evolves now. Also, can we just give ourselves a pat on the back for no yep. deaths yet by this point? Episode sixteen. There's it's still a no deaths. Like I feel like that. I feel like I feel like we should get some praise for this. We're doing a solo link versus, and you would think there'd be like a crap ton of deaths by this point, but there have been no deaths. By this point, can we talk about how amazing that actually but, is? But you know, but you want to know something, Goki? We may not have deaths on our end, that. but we've killed. Well, I've killed a lot of encounters. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Well, I mean, to be fair, um, like we we at this point we don't really need any more encounters. Like our teams are busted. As it, well, my team's busted. I only you have know, two. I only have two else. carrying me. I so, only have two mods carrying. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have carrying for me. I mean, can, uh, you could make the funny. case that yeah. there's no point of me training any other two mons. And I think I mentioned it in episode 16. I don't yeah, remember where. Yeah. I was like, there's no point of me trying to train Feebaz at this point or train Amunai at this point. It, it, everything from here on out is just speed yeah. race. Like, there's nothing else we can do. Aside exactly. from, like, Seafoam Island's back, yeah. like, stuff, that's it. Everything is just speed through on. It's like, there's yeah. no time for me to train because my boy over here is already past Giovanni. Yeah. He's going to go and... T Whoa! And he's done. <laughs> Team Goki for the win. Sad to Let's say, go! Goki takes a W this week. I I am very sad to say he does. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sad. Um, something else worth mentioning as well in terms of pairs. Something that's huge for us. We don't have a normal type yet, which is absolutely amazing. So that gives us a very good chance to add a fifth pair if you're able to get something like a primary bug type True. or something like that. Where that type that's... that we don't have yet. So that's something else worth mentioning as well. Um, is that um, we don't have a normal type, which is absolutely huge. So, for example, I don't know if Gizmo got his static encounter. Did you get your static encounter in Celadon? Uh, I don't remember. I can't remember. I think that was next episode. I, think I don't remember either. I, don't, I, don't, I think it was the next episode. I mean, okay, yeah, I, I think you're right. I think it was the next episode. But um, it could be added to the team if it's something like a ghost type, a dark type, a bug type, or something like that. So that's absolutely mm -hmm. insane. Like, um, knowing that, like, like having a possibility of adding a mod when you have a normal type in a solo lane versus when you already have four pairs is absolutely huge. Yeah, next crazy. week is definitely so, going to be an interesting one. Um, our starter pairs were, our starter pairs were, like, the best thing that could ever happen. Dragon and Ice. Like, that was the best thing that could have happened to us. Um, Water and Fire, you know, it was going to happen eventually, which is still a decent, decent combo. Um, we have Poison and Electric, which is a pretty decent combo as well. And then Ground and Rock. Is also really good too. Yeah. So, look forward to that. Um, 
Look yeah, forward to our crazy. team from it's here moving on. Icicles, can you stop crashing on my house? Thank you. Um, yeah, moving on. Um, do you want to talk about the Super yeah, Bowl? Yeah, so that's pretty much all the episodes. <laughs> and how but yeah. the Buccaneers stomped out the Chiefs. <laughs> uh, man, it's funny. I love how everybody on Twitter is just being like, Brady sucks, Brady's a scam, or whatever is funny. Like, regardless, like, Brady's, like, even if Brady has done shady stuff in his past, um, Gizmo no, has no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, like, he's, he's still, like, you know, considering he has 10 Super Bowl wins, or, like, 10 Super Bowl, like, appearances, and seven of them are wins under his belt, that's pretty impressive. So, um, and then, like, the combination of him and Gronkowski and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, honestly, it was, it was just crazy, man. <laughs> the defense um, for the Chiefs kind of screwed up a lot with the penalties. The penalties is what really screwed over the Chiefs, I think. Because, like, a lot of touchdowns that uh, the Buccaneers had were results of pe- mm-hmm. uh, penalties um, by the Chiefs. So, or, like, at least, like, I think two of them, I think, could have been prevented if they didn't get, like, if the Chiefs weren't so heavily penalized. And, you know, people are going to say it's rigged or whatever. I don't think it's rigged because I think that's stupid. I think it's stupid to think that. But um, it is unfortunate that the Chiefs got mm-hmm. so many penalties. It was like, well, it do be ah, like that. that's a yikes. And then the halftime show I actually missed because my dad was doing a haircut by that point. And we were like, eh, we don't really care about the halftime show. We're, we're just, we're just going to do my haircut real fast. <laughs> so apparently it was decent, though, from what, I, from what I saw on Twitter. Of course, nothing can compare to Bruno Mars because we stand Bruno Mars in this house. Bruno Mars is amazing. And if you disagree with me, you're wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, apparently like The weekend gave a decent performance from what I heard. So... Congratulations to the Bucks as well. Congratulations to the Buccaneers for winning their second Super Bowl title of all time, um, which is crazy. It's crazy to think about. So. Yeah. yeah, congrats. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I don't know if no, you guys watch the Super I, I, Bowl. I but, heard nothing yeah. about the Super Bowl. I don't <laughs> watch the Super Bowl. Hate me all you want. Uh, on Twitter, though, I, the only reason I... <laughs> what? You're not the only American? Thing, the only thing I heard about the what? Super Bowl was from Gokies. He was talking about like, having some nice chi- cheese dip or something. I don't know what you were talking about, chips or something. Yeah, it, it was, it was um, I guess, uh, I think, I don't remember the exact name of the dip, but I think it's a Mexican, uh-huh. it's like a Mexican dip. Um, it, it has like sour cream, it has some kind of sauce in it, it has cheese, it has, um, mm-hmm. I believe, ground beef in it, I think. Um, and it has um, something else in it too, I can't remember what it is, but yeah, it's so good. Dang, you know what, so I, I can't relate, because all I was doing that Sunday on the Super Bowl was doing homework assignments, literally. Killing myself doing homework because it's twenty four seven. So I really didn't. That's, that's an I really didn't watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> that's an or anything. It was so quiet though. It was such a quiet Sunday. I, yeah. I have to say, I no. It feels so weird. Yeah. It was just very quiet for a Sunday. I mean, I get yeah. people take breaks in every now and then, but it just sounded so quiet for a Sunday. Personally, considering I'm an introvert. Yeah. Considering so I'm an introvert, like it's, it's too quiet yeah. for an introvert. It's <laughs> yeah. done to that point, but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah that was the Super Bowl. I hope people uh, enjoyed it, and I don't know too much Bowl. about what happened. Yeah, I, it was good. It, it was a good Super Bowl. It wasn't my favorite of all time, but um, it was good. I can't even know what my favorite of all time would be. Um, the one, the one that sticks out of my head is the um, Super Bowl where there was the Panthers versus the Broncos. Um, I remember that for multiple reasons. One, because it was Peyton Manning's mm-hmm. last Super Bowl, and he won his last Super Bowl, which was really mm-hmm. cool before he retired. Um, to Carolina Panthers. Um, I'm from North Carolina, for those of you who don't know. Uh, so, obviously, repping Carolina Panthers. Uh, we lost, which we don't talk about. Um, so, um, and let's see. I think there were a couple other ones, too, that I remember. Kind of like, I remember there's a Super Bowl with the Patriots in it, which mm-hmm. is basically every Super Bowl, but that's besides the point. I remember, I remember just, I think it was like, was it Patriots versus the Packers, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. I can't remember. I think there was another one with the Chiefs that I watched. I think I can't remember exactly. Back in like back in like the teen, like the twenty teen era, um, being like the twenty ten era, uh, I I watched like a lot of like football, a lot more football back then than I do now. Um, this past year, I've only watched the Super Bowl, but like I, even like a couple of years ago, I used to like watch every football game every Sunday. So I even used to do football. Fun fact: I was a wide receiver. Fun fact for you guys: I was number twenty nine. I sucked. We don't talk about it. But anyways, I think I literally brought this up episode one, too. Anyways, um, change the subject. Uh, uh, Goki. Uh, well, there was one specific topic uh, that we were going to talk about. Uh, we'll, pro- we'll probably talk it for like five minutes oh, yeah. or something. This video is ca- getting kind of long. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, is. so what? Was it the... Are you yep. talking about the I'll let you take care of that the beginning half. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, Gizmo doesn't know, like, a whole lot about it. I'm gonna make a video about it in the future, assuming, th if this goes up on, like, Sunday, I will be working on a video. I don't know when the video is gonna go out yet, maybe mm -hmm. Wednesday or something like that. I don't know, uh, yet how that's gonna work out, but, um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting situation, because it's, like, people pointing fingers right and left. A-Drive made an apology, like, or, well, he made an apology tweet. He didn't make an apology video. He took down the video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, A-Drive made a video called, I bought 100 Happy Meals for Pokemon Cards. And um, people got in his butt because um, he was buying 100 Pokemon cards. He was buying 100 mm -hmm. Happy Meals for Pokemon cards. And, like, people were saying, like, you're wasting food. People were saying, um, what about the kids? People were, like, there's a whole bunch of crap going on. So I watched part, most of the video. I watched about, I watched the video up to the point where he started opening the Pokemon cards. Uh, oh, yeah, people were also saying, like, he's scalping. A lot of the claims are, are, like, you know, not true, where, like, he didn't waste any food. He, um, you know, he just bought the cards by themselves. Um, and, like, he's giving the cards away to his fan base um, mm -hmm. via giveaway. So he's not, like, scalping them. He's not reselling them. But I do still think there's, like, a bunch of things that he could have done different that I think deserve to be talked about and I don't see talked mm -hmm. about as much. So it's a topic that I find interesting, especially because, like, I can kind of relate to both sides of the field a little bit being like uh i collect I, I, i'm a casual collector of pokemon cards you can't really see them but behind my um stuff that I know back here you'll see um like boxes of like pokemon cards back there and i have like this as well with like my most prized pokemon cards um, is it name for nate really cool. is it a name for like, there's my there's my uh i have chimchar actually chimchar this one's my favorite card because i got it uh one i specifically asked for a chimchar the card for christmas and i got it and it was very it this was guy's very was spoiled child cool. But yeah, I have things like Tyranitar EX, Charizard EX. <laughs> I was, I was, honestly. Like, this I this was a random pull, so this was exciting. I think this was a random pull. I have a shiny Mega Gengar. Like, that, that was really cool. I have a couple of breaks as well, so... But anyways, sorry, I'm geeking out about Pokemon That's cards. Right. Um, so, like, I'm a casual Pokemon card collector. And then, like, back when, in 2010, 2011 era, when um, Pokemon did a black and white promo thing uh, with McDonald's, um, we, this was back when I used to go to McDonald's all the time. Like, my family would used to go to McDonald's a lot. So, um, I would always get the Happy Meal to get the Pokemon stuff. Me, me and my brother would get the Happy Meals to get the Pokemon stuff. Um, and it was like, it was a toy and a card. And in fact, actually, those toys back there that you see all on the top shelf back there are all, uh, McDonald's, from McDonald's. Like, from that, from that event. And again, I know people are going to call me hypocrites because they're like, you know, whatever. But, um, these were from multiple trips to McDonald's. Um, and, uh, half of those were my brothers. And some of those might even be my sisters, too. Oh, no. I can't remember. But, um, yeah. I do think 100 is excessive as well. Uh, like, buying 100 Happy Meals, I don't think you needed to do that. Because, <laughs> like, I, I, I don't think so. Like, I feel like that was really excessive. Um, very excessive. I think 10 would have sufficed, and even then that would be pushing it. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, it, it's an interesting, it's an interesting topic because it's like... People are hard defending him and hard bashing him, um, and I don't think he deserves either one of those. I think he deserves to be called out for things that he did in the video that I think should be talked about, but I also don't think he deserves all the hate that he's getting over this. So It'll be an interesting subject to talk about, but I just kind of wanted to give my two cents about it in this podcast, like a little bit of a teaser, per se, mm -hmm. um, and um, I don't know if Gizmo had any thoughts to add. Uh, uh, all I really want to just say is now overlooking the situation, people love to over, over exaggerate a lot of crap. You know, that's very unnecessary. But you know what? That's yeah, the well. internet. You know, that's <laughs> the internet for you. People are like exaggerating for little things. Yeah. But yeah. now that I think about it, cancel culture. Now that I think about it, it's like the the actions that A Drive did do when he was trying to like ask for a hundred uh, happy meals. Uh, just to give a little bit of content, I'm gonna drop down a link the video that I personally watched that was given to me by Goki. And that's where I'm basing the information off. Yeah, the video, the video that A Drive originally, uh, the video that was originally uploaded, A Drive has deleted since. But somebody re-uploaded the section of the video where, um, like, the first four minutes of the video where he buys the Pokemon cards. He ba they basically uploaded the entire first half of the video before he starts actually gotcha. opening up the Pokemon cards. So, like, which is where a majority of the controversy happens. So, like, he uploaded the section where the majority yeah, of the controversy per happens. So, for context, that's what it is. Yeah, that's but the personally, video me. On analyzing the situation i'm neither against or for in either side i'm just saying what's facts i guess uh yeah. it's like his his reactions mm -hmm. to ordering 100 uh happy meals 
from one's point of view as a person that's not part of social media does seem like over excessive but think about his platform i'm trying to think of him as he has his own platform he has to be viral he has to make hits videos views right i'm just like i was like i mean if he puts a hundred yeah. if he buys a hundred he has to be true to buying a hundred happy meals you know i don't see anything wrong he's making money out yeah. of it it's just how the world works right but I do get the fact that it does seem a yeah. little over excessive as it might not give the opportunity for other kids who are actually wanting to get these Happy Meals and getting these Pokemon cards. I get that. But I was talking to Goki earlier. It's like, well, every single store of McDonald's is follows a certain type of procedure. And I get it. That's why certain McDonald's, as you see the video that I pointed down in the description, uh, the one of the I think it was one of the managers we we're talking about. was like, oh, we could only give you 20. And that's fair. I mean, I understand that. But also yeah. keep, keep in consideration that there's exactly. some other McDonald's that are a little bit more lenient uh, when it comes to giving out Happy Meals. And the mm -hmm. reason why that is, is think of it as a little business. If something's not going too well, you want to, like, raise up your numbers. So, obviously, you would be le more lenient to giving more Happy Meals. As he, if you watch the video, that's why he managed to pull off 80 Happy Meals at a single McDonald's. So I really don't see that as greediness. Mm, yeah. I really don't know. I mean, if any. Yeah. I don't I don't either, to be fair. Yeah. I, I just wanted to clarify that as well. Like I don't see it as that either. I just see yeah. it as like a bit. But yeah, to just to summarize my thoughts, I think situation. it's just a very or over exaggerated. It shouldn't be nothing to be looked on, but you know what? People are people, yeah. just let them be. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah. honestly, yeah. I, I wouldn't blame the guy yeah. who mean, was, like, saying, it's like, I want my Happy Meals. <laughs> I get the guy. He was trying to negotiate and yeah. say, you know what? I'm buying 100 Happy Meals on the spot. And personally, me, I'd be like, I, I would feel overjoyed if someone was telling me <laughs> that, you know? And, but I get it. It's certain yeah. procedures that need to be yeah, done sure. by certain stores. We just got to respect that. And... The, yeah. And his reaction to it, right. even though it does seem childish, I mean, it's yeah. it's not good to assume that certain people would do the same. But honestly, if I was in the same situation and yeah. maybe I was having a bad day, I probably would have had the same reaction. Be like, oh, f like fuck. <laughs> I don't want to wait until like 11 a.m. just to get my yeah. Happy Meal, you know. But again, I'm not defending him. I'm just putting yeah. my point of views of what I would put myself in his situation and his shoes. And I'll just leave it at that as an over exaggerated yeah. issue, <laughs> really. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I, I do agree that people are like kind of blowing it out of the water a little bit. And again, people are being like way too harsh about it. Um, the, like, A Drive has kind of created a fan base for himself where, uh, well, not even a fan base, just like he's kind of created this like pool of hate around him with based on like his previous content and stuff like that and like how salty he can be in battle sometimes because i used to back in a few years ago i used to watch a drive and after like a certain video came out and like everybody in the comments was like super salty and even like harassing his opponent in one of those draft leagues that he did and a drive um while a drive brought up something about it he only brought up himself about like in it and he only brought up comments that were like you shouldn't be as salty in this battle or whatever. That was when I stopped watching him. For, for me personally, that's when I stopped watching him because I was like, the community mm -hmm. is really toxic. So, and then like, like I said, I think a lot of people hate on him for no reason. I think, I think people yeah, hate on him just much. hate on him. Um, and I don't think he's a bad guy, but I do think he like for certain things and like, which is why I think like for, in terms of like the Pokemon, like the, like yeah. in this particular situation, I think a lot of the stuff is being yeah. blown out of the water. People are looking um, too much into it. And like a lot of people are saying stuff, like people people aren't even watching the video and they're just making assumptions, right? People are like, oh, you're scalping them, or oh, you're doing this, you're doing that. When he, Or like, oh, you're wasting food when he's not. But I do still think there's some stuff that he needs to be held accountable by, like how he treated the employees <laughs> in the McDonald's, you know, regardless of, you know, regardless of if you're treated, if you um, would do the same thing, A-Drive has a platform and he's like, he has like, almost like three quarters he has a three quarters yeah. of a million subscribers right so he has to be held accountable for his audience and like i remember seeing something where he said like oh i have an 18 plus audience they can think for themselves and it's like you open up po you, you you open up pokemon cards and you play pokemon for a living do you really think all those people are 18 and up <laughs> like no <laughs> a lot of those probably a lot of those i'm going to assume are children that watch yep. your content so it's like you have to be held responsible for how you act for towards those. other people. 
So that's kind. Of, that was actually like my main problem. Not even just the how much how many cards he got or like all that. My main issue. Is I'll, I'll talk about this in like the video mm -hmm. I eventually make. But yeah, yeah. Um, but my main issue is how he treated the employees and um, how he said like because he said he donated to the boot, uh, food bank, which I believe. But the way he was always defended himself on Twitter by saying, "Oh, I donated to a charity or whatever," makes me think he only donated to. Um, just say, oh, I donated to charity, so I couldn't have done this bad thing, which is a very scummy thing to do, in my opinion. So, it'll be something that we'll talk about in the future. But that was, we just kind of like wanted to touch on it a little bit because you know we're Pokemon nerds. Yep. Uh, we both like Pokemon cards, and it's a big controversy. We both like McDonald's, <laughs> and it's a controversy going around. So, scummy but smart. Up, right? Scummy but um, smart. Yeah. <laughs> you got. Well, what did that work? Yeah. <laughs> marketing. Marketing. That's boy, marketing man. in a nutshell, guys. <laughs> That's marketing. All right. Uh, all right, don't. Mark, uh, mark that, uh, there there's a go. lot of ethics that comes to that, but that, that's any, another topic for another day. Is <laughs> any publicity is good publicity. <laughs> yeah. Any publicity yeah. is good publicity, am I right? <laughs> Koki, your subscribers count <laughs> is, is hurting uh, right now. It's slowly, dro it's it's slowly, slowly dropping. It's dropping from 300. <laughs> oh, bro, bro. oh, no. It's dropping bro, from bro, 300. Bro, look, now look right now, Koki's oh, no. YouTube what channel happened? subscriber count is 298. I bet you anything. He's going to get to 299. Ah. And then I'm going to send out a tweet and rant about Goki and all his little inner dark secrets. And everybody's just going to start just subscribing, unsubscribing until he has zero Goki. subscribers. And you know, just that's everybody how it's going to hit. That's going to, that's how I'm going to break Goki. That's how I'm going to break Goki. <laughs> I'll put out a video canceling myself. I put out a video canceling myself. Just make hashtag cancel Goki trending. Hashtag cancel Goki trends. And then I get deleted. <laughs> but you and then right you create a new YouTube channel and it just blows up three times as big. <laughs> I'm exactly. I'm just like, okay. Yeah, exactly. Any publicity is good publicity. It makes sense. I said publicity. Publicity. But yep. There we go. Man, I think anyways, that's yeah. it for today's <laughs> podcast as we've been That'd be funny. over an hour, which is hilarious because so cool. considering that me and Gogi, we were trying to go for it. 20 minutes this time around. <laughs> I, we were trying to go for 20 minutes and now it's an hour. Well, it's like, oh, if you guys okay, enjoyed well, this podcast, then we we'll dropped out a like. Comment down below if it was your favorite part of this episode. This has been Gizmo. That's been Goki yeah. Gamer. And, and Goki the, Gamer. Any last words, Goki? I don't think so. Except Mine peace is, out, mates. Go to your local McDonald's and get your own Happy Meals, all right? Get your own Happy Meals. And get, the, get these amazing Pokemon exactly. cards, all right? Gizmo out. Peace. Yeah, baby. Peace. Woo!